So these are six pots with uh, clumps of purple loosestrife growing in them. And uh, as a dog for perspective. Um, loosestrife has been growing in these for about six weeks. The beetles, uh, about a dozen beetles were put into each pot about a month ago. And uh, they laid eggs and these are the small beetles that have hatched. These are actually full grown. You can see quite a few in there. And uh, here's another one. Uh, the caterpillar is not supposed to be there but you get a good sense of the beetles, the size. They're, they're alive. They're looking for loose drive to eat. And uh, we're gonna find them some loose drive. So here's a Subaru Outback with six dripping pots, three gallon pots, of uh, root balls of purple loosestrife. And they're uh, leaning in there. I'm going to take them off to a really large swampy area along the rail trail in Groton where we'll uh, haul these pots out. We'll take off the white sleeves that are keeping the beetles inside and then we'll, uh, we'll let the beetles uh, take off on their own and find some new healthy loose stripe to eat. So this is part of the swamp along Broadmeadow Road in Groton. And in the late summer this will be just an explosion of purple loosestrife. A lot of cattails in here too, which are good things, and uh, Phragmites, which are the horsetail types of, uh, types of um, plants here. There's a red-winged blackbird over there. Here, a crow in the distance and bullfrogs. Beautiful place, and the rail trail runs right along through this swamp here. <laughs> 